Peel was on the level for once. It's an elopement, all right. Yeah. Now, just raise the skirt just a trifle. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Nothing personal, Mr. Martin. I seen the show. Come on, come on. Hurry up. Oh, boys, get a look at them gams. Come on, take it. Does your father know you're going to be married, Mr. Martin? Uh, I, don't I, don't know, know. I can't ask him, Martin. Uh, How long are you going to make it? What are you coming back? Yes, yeah, we know. My name's Wednesdays and Saturdays. <laughs> if you're lucky. Boy, what a story. Hold on tight. We're going to play. What? That's all right. It's just a shot. What? No. No, no, 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 no. Are you sure you stopped the name, Mike? Yeah. Look. Uh-oh, uh-oh, look out here, they come. Give me that angle. 
Just a little bit. We want to show the injured ankle. Thank goodness she's got one good one left anyway. Oh, what a pair of jams she Oh, come on, boys. Don't forget the name of the show. It's Gurney's yes, Don't Tell. Playing at the Alcazar Theater. Hey, hey. Yeah, and what more? I'm going to send you the doctor's bill. Oh, you are, are you? You can't go around hurting girls' ankles like that. What do you think you are, Caropodus? They crashed while eloping with a chorus girl. Huh? Sure. Well, her name, it's, uh, Thelma Temple, a dancer. Yeah, yeah, no, never mind the name of the show. picture of both of us. So you don't believe that, do you? Of course not. They just put out that edition to amuse the editor's friends. Oh, no. Wait a minute. That's a real story. That's a press stunt. I did it to help out a pal of mine, Ambrose Peel. Oh, don't you believe me? Yes. Well, then what's the matter? Just what's always been the matter, you. Me? Yes. I thought you were going to stop being a professional college boy and go to work. Work? Oh, yes, yes. You mean work. Don't you want to work? No. Why should I? Well, look at Father. He's worked all his life, and what's his reward? Me. Well, Rodney, if you expect me to take you seriously, you'll have to go to work. Oh. Open this door. Open it, I say. Coming, coming, Father. Don't be impatient. Why was this door locked? What was it locked? Didn't you just unlock it? Oh, yes, yes, that's right. Come in here. I have something to say to you. I guess Father didn't like the picture either. Young man, 
All right, Father. I'm awfully tired. Let's postpone this lecture until I've told you the big news. I've seen the big news. It's in every paper in town. Oh, that, that, that's nothing. Listen, Father, I want to get married. Married? But you don't actually mean that you want to marry this, uh, this chorus girl, do you? She isn't a chorus girl, Father. She's the star. I don't care what she is. Oh, now, wait a minute. Let's get this straight. I don't want to marry that girl. No? Well, then, who is the girl? Who is she? The girl? Why, certainly, the girl. You're not going to marry a polo pony, are you? Who is a little gurgling, blue-eyed fool? Now, Father, she isn't a fool, and she doesn't gurgle. Her name is Mary Grayson. What? My secretary? Yes, sir. I won't permit it. No? No, sir. I'll disinherit you, and I'll fire her. You can starve together. I knew you'd be reasonable about it. Good old man. Get out. Uh, and never darken your door again. I know, but look, Father, you can't do this to me. No? What are you going to do about it? Well, I'll uh, get a job. Why, you don't even know what the word means. Maybe I'll look it up. That'd even be too much work for you. Maybe I'd get my secretary to do it. Get out. Yes, sir. It worked. Are you sure he wasn't just talking? No, no, he's going upstairs to pack. You're a wise girl, Miss Grayson. You said I couldn't do it. Well, I was wrong, and I owe you $5,000. Thank you, Mr. Martin. <laughs> May I have a check now? Oh, sure, surely. <laughs> That's right, Miss Grayson. Never put off for tomorrow the money you can get today. That's the good old logic. Nothing. I never would have believed it. Six weeks since you got the idea, and already he's in love with you. Well, he thinks he is. Well, don't you think that he's really in love with you? Of course not. When I break our engagement, it'll be a blow to his vanity. But he'll get over that soon enough. You know, it's the first time he's actually wanted to marry. That's because I've been very blue-eyed and baby-faced. But when he finds out I'm a businesswoman and not the marrying kind, he'll be all right for a week. Do you think that he'll make good? He might, if he keeps at it. But you'll keep him at it. That wasn't our agreement. All I said I'd do was get him to go to work. Oh, no, no, no. See here, Miss Grayson. Suppose I make it worth your while. Well? Now, if you keep him working for six months, I'll give you 25% of what he makes. 25% of what? Well, now, you, uh, you are hard-boiled, aren't you? I've got to be, Miss Martin. All the men in my family are like Rodney. Thoroughly charming and quite useless. You know, someone has to pay the bill. Yes, sir. Yes. Well, uh, what would the finish? I'd rather you make the offer. How about adding $5,000 to the 25%? Payable when? In six months if you keep him out of that office. Let me see. I planned to open a shop with this. And now it's what I get later. Yes, that's all right. Will you make out a uh, statement covering the fact? Certainly. And, oh, yes, if you don't mind, Miss Grayson, will you add a paragraph? What do you mean? This, uh, agreement is never to be mentioned to Rod. Oh, yes, of course. Right. Put these things in the car, will you? That's all right, Miss Grayson. Now, if you could just sign there. Uh, just a minute. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to sign it. And never put off for tomorrow. What's your concern today? Right. <laughs> but, Mr. Martin, I'm terrified. No, never mind, Miss Grayson. I do not wish to discuss the matter any further. You have your check. You're discharged. Wait a minute. Keep your check. Mary doesn't need any money from you. But, Rodney, I've worked very hard for this. Well, you don't have to work hard any longer. You're going to work for me. For you? What are you going to do? Well, if you must know, I'm going into business. <laughs> and you needn't laugh. Business? What kind of business, may I ask? Why, uh, the soap business. What? Well, it must be easy. You made a success of it. And with a Martin name, I can get credit. Why, you young idiot, you can't do this. My business is sacred with me. It's all right, Father. My business is going to be sacred with me. You can be sacred about soap, so can I. If you do this, Rodney, 
I'll smash you before you get started. You'll have to take a chance, Father. Old Mr. Adams is still in the soap business, and you've been going to smash him for 20 years. I'm serious. So am I. All right. But remember, when I fight, I fight. And when I go into anything, I stay in it. Rodney, what are you going to do? Just what I said. Will you stick? I will if you're really serious. But you've got to keep at it for, for six months at least. Promise? Well, that's easy. Why, if you ask me to, I'll stick at it forever. You know, Mary, you're the one thing in this world that makes me believe a single word I said to Father. Oh. Do you know the name? Just announce me to Mr. Rodney. Hmm. Good afternoon, sir. Peel is the name. Just announced me to Mr. Rodney. Thank you. Mr. Peel, sir. Well, Ambrose, how, how are, are you? you? How are you? Miss Grayson, this is Mr. Peel, the press agent. How do you do, Mr. How do you do, Miss Grayson? Well, did the set work? Did it work? Don't you read the papers? Yes, so does father. I've been kicked out. Oh, and I came here to make a touch. Oh, yeah? What for? Well, it seems like little Thelma, due to your careful flying, had a nervous breakdown. So much so, they had to close the show. Guppy blamed me for the whole affair, and the good boy fired me. That's too bad. Well, you can come work for me. I'm making soap. Well, it's a nice, clean business. Yes, we're going to fight the soap trust. What? <laughs> oh, Piker. <laughs> well, you see, Father thinks I can't earn $5 a week. He isn't right, is he? No, no, that's what we're going to prove to him. How long have you been in the business? Oh, about 10 minutes. How's it going? Fine. Good. Why don't you knock off for the day? It's a good idea. You know what you want to put yourself over? What? Advertising. You know, like it was a big show. Broadcast it, circus it, lay it on thick. Say, with the right kind of a campaign, your father will have to back you or buy you out. Oh, but wait a minute. And with me as your advertising manager? It's a cinch. Yes, but that's been overdone. Nobody reads ads anymore. I don't. Oh, you don't, don't you? I guess you don't know what I mean when I say uh, four out of five have it. It's satisfied. Good to the last drop. I suppose you never heard of uh, time to retire. Or even your best friends won't tell you. Well, sure. Oh, now, wait a minute. What kind of barter do you... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I get so excited, Miss Grayson. I'll start all over again. What kind of barters do you wear? I thought so. Boston. Well, that's just a coincidence. Come on, Mary, I'll take you home. Well, now, Rodney, now, wait a minute, will you? Listen, Rodney, don't walk out of me like this. When I say to you, Arrow, you think of a collar, don't you? Uh-huh. And when I say to you, BBDs, you think of... Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Grayson, really, I, I apologize. I... You don't believe in advertisement. Well, suppose I do. Whatever. Now, you don't think by smoking a car or a little cigarette you'll cure a cough, do you? No, of course not. You don't think by using Listerine your best friends will tell you? No. You don't honestly believe that the five easy lessons a wallflower will develop into a geranium, do you? I never thought about it. Of course you didn't, Miss Grayson. Of course you didn't. Why, as the power of suggestion, my boy, say a thing often enough and the other guy not only believes it, but he thinks it's his own idea. Why, 50% of the people are sheep, so you can get them by advertising. Let me tell you something else. The great American nation have been fed on ads for so long, you don't even have to mention the name. Just speak the slogan and they'll know what you mean. Well, you look. What's this? Yes, what is this? The skin you love to touch. Good very facial soap. <laughs> you see, she guessed it. Now, don't go away. I have another one for you. <laughs> Be nonchalant. Light them your ass. Right. Oh, no, oh, Here, my, my good man. A dollar for these. I have one more. Now, turn around and don't look until I tell you. Uh oh, I'll bet this is going to be good. More money. <laughs> and we think you're pretty music. What is it? His master's voice. Right. <laughs> good old Bruno. A little wonder lady. She knows all the answers. Miss Grayson, uh, what kind of eggs do you eat? Hens eggs, of course. 
Why, of course. Did you ever eat a duck egg? No. But have you against the duck? Why, why nothing? Oh, yes, you have, but you don't know it. Listen, when a duck lays an egg, she keeps quiet. When a hen lays one, she just clucks all over the place. Why? Because she's advertising. And so you eat hen's eggs. <laughs> all right, all right, Ambrose, I'm yours. Say, what was your salary with Guppy and uh, Claude? One fifty a week, right? Well, I actually received seventy-five, but I was worth three hundred. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll give you one fifty. One fifty sold. Well, now to get a name for our soap, darling. Darling, no, that's no good. Doesn't mean a thing. Sit down, we'll talk it over. Yeah, let's say. I am thinking. I never stop. Say, say, could we? Uh, what? Uh, no. Suppose we. Uh, what? No. Wouldn't do. Soap, 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 soap. So, so what's the matter with you, you superstitious? Fool me? No, thank heaven. Say, say, wait a minute. I've got it now. Where? The name for the soap. Everybody's superstitious, even if you won't admit it. Listen to this now. Thirteen soap, unlucky for dirt. Oh, oh Roddy, that's a grand name. It's all over. Your father is practically a bankrupt right now. Well, all we need is about $50,000 to get our great nation hysterical over our soap. Have we, uh, <coughs> pardon me, but have you $50,000? Oh, don't be funny. Nobody has. The second job I've lost today. Uh, just a minute. Couldn't we start with less? Oh, uh, how much less have you? Yeah, well, well, wait a minute. I've got 6000 in the bank. The plane's a little damaged, but it ought to be worth four, and uh, ought to be able to get three on the car. That makes about uh, 13000 Is that enough? <laughs> That's enough. I could retire on that much. I know an agent who, for half of that amount as a down payment, will give us a month's advertising. Here are the layouts. And, uh, look at this. Well, well, uh, here, Mr. Martin. It's a statement of cost. Uh, boy, there's a layout. Boy, there's an outlay. What is that? Oh, man. By the way, Mr. Martin, may I have a small check on account, say, uh, 10,000? Why, yes, I guess so. Mr. Sergeant, could I take a minute, please? Oh, well, pardon me, gentlemen. What is it, my boy? Is that question of the time? Hal, here's a layout that's a knockout. Yeah, yeah, knockout is right. Hey, listen to this. Deposit is 13,000. Spent, 10,000. Knockout is the Dollar 12, 10 points and papers. It's a grand total of $2,998.88. Don't worry, that's not the nice for a month. By that time, we'll be off easy street. Uh -huh. Here you are, Mr. McKesney. Here you are. Thank you very much. Our office are working on your designs. Would you care to see them? Oh, right. can we? Why, certainly. Right this way, gentlemen. Oh, right. right this way. Go ahead. Uh, Mr. McGregor, this is Mr. Martin, and Mr. Keel. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? This is Miss Crew. How do you do? How do you do? Ha ah, ha, don't get up. How do you do, Miss Cruz? Are you an American? Why, certainly. Would you mind if I whistle the Star Spangled Banner? <laughs> oh, Miss Cruz, please, you're not quite sure yet. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Goodbye, Miss Cruz. See you on the ice can. <laughs> very nice design. Yes, very nice. You need his imagination. Why, there's going to be a big demand for our soap. We've got to prepare now. They look real, don't they? Just something that is real. Bills, am I right? Or uh, am I? Yes, they're bills. Yes, they're bills. And if you have any imaginations, we could some way to pay them. You know, we haven't sold any soap yet. Uh, honey, but we will. That's why we're advertising. Yes, but we have the cent left. 
Don't worry, we're just casting bread upon the waters now. In a month's time, we'll be eating cake. Mr. Martin. Yes? There's a French woman, please. French woman? What does she want? I don't know. She doesn't speak English. But I think it's something about money. Oh, well, she must be a bill collector. Ask her to wait, will you please? Say, say, you haven't been advertising in French, have you? Not to my knowledge. And Mr. Martin. Yes? Mr. McChesney's here. Oh, I know what he wants, money. Send him into Mr. Peel's office, will you? Look, look, look. You go into there and take care of him, will you? I think I can stop. All right, come on, Mary. All right. And send that check, too. Well, Mr. McKenzie, what's on your mind today? I want to see Mr. Martin. He's tied up right now. And when he's tied up, he's like a knot. Look. Perhaps I can help you. This bill's been overdue for some time. He can't put me off this way. Another big order. Oh, oh why, Mr. McChesney, how are you? Say, I'm awfully glad to see you. Come right into my office, please. Thanks, I'll file it. Not to you, Mr. Martin. I've got to have a check. A check? Why, didn't you get that check I mailed you last night? No. Miss Grayson, where's the carbon copy of that letter? What? Oh, never mind, never mind, I'll find it. Why, here it is, right here. Look at this. See, I sent it last night. Why, there's the date. Funny. Uh, maybe it came in the late mail. So, oh, that's, that's all right, right, Mr. McKenzie. Why, that's quite right. all right. Why, Mr. McKenzie, you know the mail. All these letter carriers, boys will be boys. <laughs> hey, when did you write this letter to McKenzie? I didn't. I mean, I wrote it just now while you were stalling him. What are you going to do when he finds out you never sent a check? I don't know. Right now, I've got to find some way to get rid of that French woman. Wait, I'll try my way. When you think of yours, join me. Mais voyons, mademoiselle, vous voulez dire Mais Voyons. Ah, monsieur Martin, vous êtes monsieur Martin. Listen, lady, there, there's no use waiting. Comment? Here, come on with me. Mais voyons, monsieur, je suis la comtesse de Borien. Voulez-vous me donner au moins cinq minutes? My mother thinks the same thing. Come right this way. Oh, je voudrais obtenir la joie qui fait mon prière pour la France. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, vous êtes monsieur Martin. Yeah, I mean, wait. Come, ah, allons. Oh, Wait a minute, wait a minute. Say it slow. Come on. Oh, oh. Répétez ça, uh, s'il vous plaît, uh, very slow, you know, uh, vite. Mm. I've got to stay in night school. Uh, je peux vous donner 250 000 francs pour cet agent. Uh, Voulez-vous arranger cette affaire pour moi? Oui, 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 oui. Oh, stop, oui, oui. What is she saying? She says she'll give us 250,000 francs for the French rights. Oh, mademoiselle. Mais je ne comprends pas. Voulez-vous me donner le droit de la faire de thé en France? Oui, oui, most emphatically, oui. And oui for me. Bien. Alors, euh, je retourne à mon hôtel pour rédiger le contrat. Oui, I must let her get away. Oh, madame, madame. Uh, uh, how about uh, uh, manger, you know, eat? I meet you hotel, une heure. Bien, à mon hôtel à une heure. Tell her to bring la dose in money. Oh, oui, oui, mademoiselle. Avec uh, l'argent. Ah, oui, certainement, je la porterai avec moi. Au revoir, Countess. Au revoir, monsieur. Who's that now, Countess? Oh, monsieur. monsieur. Now listen, you two. I just phoned my office about that letter. If you think you can put anything over on me, you're mistaken. I don't like your tone. Drop it. Drop it. What? He said drop it. I don't like to bother your father about these bills, Mr. Martin. But that's what I'm going to do this time, see? You don't have to bother my father, Mr. McChesney. I'll pay my own bill. Now, if I give you 5,000 on account, will that be satisfactory? Why, yes, you sure. You understand, Mr. Peel? Not one cent of our new appropriation goes to McChesney. Oh, absolutely. Now, Mr. Martin, I, I admit I've been a bit hasty, but I... Here's your check. Today, sir. Now, Mr. Martin. Show the gentleman out. There is out. I've had designs on that guy for a month. Well, I fixed him, didn't I? Rodney, what have you done? 
There's no money in the bank. But Chutney can have his jail. Now listen, Mary, that check won't go through until tomorrow morning. In the meantime, we're going to get some money from the counters this noon. Yes, she has the money. 
Shall I kiss her? Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Clean. Madam, l'argent avec vous? Oui, madame. Oui, madame. Oh, I'd love to see you. Madame? Thank you. It's real. It's a check for $15,000. It's a check for $15,000. Papa, can I have ice cream? Je vous donnerai ça pour 15 000 dollars. Mais comme je ne vous dois que 10 000, vous pourrez me donner votre chèque pour 5 000, c'est ça? Oh, quite, quite so, quite so. I understood every word but the French. I think she said it's a check for 15,000 dollars, but she only owes us 10,000 dollars. Well, that's simple. Write her a check for 5 grand. Simple, 5 grand. We haven't got 5 bucks. I'll take a check off the bank and have it certified. Great. Uh, uh. Hey, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here, break, break my arm, but don't do that. Oh, pourquoi tear it up, pourquoi? Oh. See you two birds hand me a laugh. She's a fake. A phony counter. A phony check. Yeah. Say, what's the big idea, baby? Yeah. Uh, I was going to wangle five grand out of you, but as long as you haven't got any dough, my whole scheme's a fault. Yeah, have a good mind to have you pinch, you French eel. Good mind. You haven't got any mind. How about your phony company? Oh, oh, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, counter. Oh, you... save it, save it. You get the cops and I'll tell them a story that'll make them sit up for a change. Big businessmen. <laughs> Gives us both, Tommy. Rodney. Hello. Did you see the Countess? What? What's the matter? The Countess was a fake. Then you didn't get the money to cover that check. No. Ambrose stopped at the bank on the way to see if he could borrow some more. Oh. If we only hadn't given McChesney that check. Gee, I'm sorry I got you into this. Don't rob me. Say, what's the matter? Nothing. Just that we have so many things to do. We've got to think of a way out of this mess. You shouldn't be mixed up in this. It's all my fault. No, it isn't. I wanted to be in it. You've done everything to help me. That's what makes me feel so rotten about it. What a sensational businessman I turned out to be. Don't say that, Rodney. You make me feel as if I tricked you into it. What? Oh, don't be silly. Well? I went to the bank. Yeah? And I saw the vice president. Yeah? And I asked him for a loan. Go on, go on. That's all that is. There isn't any more. You mean he refused you? Yes, he refused me after he stopped laughing. Didn't he offer any help at all? Help? He asked me to do him a favor. He did. Yeah, he said to me, he said, uh, Mr. Peel, as a special favor to me, will you take your account out of here? Oh, what are we going to do about McChesney? He's probably been to the bank. That's the trouble with dealing with businessmen. They're so particular about being paid. Now, you take a bunch of actors. I don't care anything about that. I want to see the tomorrow. I tell you, I won't wait. You're right, Mary. He's been there. Say, are you playing the man who came back? You're a lot of crooks. The check's no good. No oh, good? Well, that's impossible. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to get a cop. Have you all locked up. Now, wait, now, wait. What ball? Give us 24 hours. Oh, no. I'm going to send you to jail. Hey, listen, listen. What do you want with 24 hours? Do you think you can raise some money? No, but that's what you always ask for when you can't pay your bills. I can see the gray walls of Sing Sing from here. Sing Sing. You know that the... Oh, get out of sunlight, please. Huh? Look. Oh, oh! Rodney, please get for your father and give in. No, I can get along without father. I don't think your old man would arrest us, do you? Oh, shut up. Say, say, listen, what are we going to do? You tell me. What are you here for? I know, but I can't think. I'm worried, Ambrose. For the first time in my life, I'm worried. So am I.
take a guy who's been in jail for 20 years. He comes out, finds a new world awaiting him. Radio, television, flagpole sitters. He's surprised, and naturally he appreciates the changes. Do you remember the girl who posed for our bathtub poster? Yeah. Well, when we get out, she'll have grandchildren in the old soldier's home. Great-grandchildren. All right, officer. Oh. Mr. Silas Martin, Mr. Martin, your father, you know. Oh, tell him to wait. What? Wait a minute, wait a minute, let me think. And, and listen, don't send him in until I ring. Ronnie, I bet he's here to make a deal. We put it over, and what did it? Advertise. Yeah, well, what are we going to do? I, I, I'm not used to putting it over on father. High pressure stuff, my boy. You know, give him the work. The work? The work, 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 the work. No, no, absolutely not. No, we do not sell any stock. No, no. Listen, did you hear me say no? Yes. Well, if it isn't father. Mm. Sit down, I'll be with you in a minute. Thanks. Well, now that's it. Uh, what can I do for you? Well, if you can spare the time, I'd like to talk business with you. Why, certainly, in a minute. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I just saw you were busy. Is it my standing need? Certainly. R.M. called and said that C.D. would like to know about those contracts for B.P. Okay, tell H.H. to take care of it. Oh, oh, pardon me, pardon me. Mr. Peel, you remember my father, old C.M. Oh, I see. A block off the young chip. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Now, you listen to me. You've been spending a lot of money on ridiculous advertising. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to get me to buy your business. But I'm not falling for it, see? All right, you listen to me. We're a growing concern. We've got a trademark that's known all over the world. Why, at this very moment, capital is chasing us. Our money is unlimited. Well, practically unlimited. Is that a fair statement, Ambrose? Fair? Oh, that's more than fair. You're not fooling me one bit. It's bluff, son. Bluff. Bluff, is it? Look at this. You call these blueprints bluff? Look at this. Plans for a new factory. New factory? Yes, here's the office. Mr. Fields, Miss Grayson's, and mine. Hmm. Aren't you going to make any soap? Certainly we're going to make soap. Who's putting up the money? Oh, why should we divulge a business secret to you? Yes, you great big rival. You tell us the secret first. Say, Ronnie, we might let your father in on one little thing, showing the uh, contract for the French rights. What? Oh, oh, yes, 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 of course. Ah, uh, you know I don't read French. Brother. Yeah, but you read figures, look at this, 250,000 francs. <coughs> Son, I'd a whole lot rather have you with me than against me. Suppose I buy your business, trademark, goodwill and all. Oh, you have our goodwill now, sir. Yeah, but buying us out may prove expensive. Well, I'll give you, say, 50,000 for the business gets to stand. 50,000? Oh, 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 50,000. <laughs> 60. 60? Oh, 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 60. <laughs> Probably the plumbing. Oh. You, uh, you tell him to wait two minutes and then send him into Mr. Peel's office. Yes, sir. You see, Father, we're taking more space. Well, Mr. Peel, would you mind coming into your office for a moment? Certainly. We'll be right back, Father. Yes, Father, be right back. It's your time, boys. Say, listen, what are we going to tell him? Let's tell him we're out. Oh, he's heard that before. 
we, we've got to talk him out of it. Ah, Mr. Perkins, how are you? My associate has spoken to me about you. Well, I want to speak to you. Mr. Perkins, uh, pardon me, but how old are you? Forty-one. Forty-one? Forty-one, going on forty-two. Lovely age, isn't it? Perfect. Well, Mr. Perkins, if I had my choice of ages, that's the one I'd pick. Forty-one, going on forty-two. Never mind that. How about your rent? Oh, yes, the, the rent. Won't you sit down, Mr. Perkins? I would like to tell you a story. Please sit down. Yes, Mr. Perkins. Somewhere, someplace, there sits a gray-haired little lady, Perkins. Tears like tiny rivers, rivulets. These are big tears. Big tears like big rivulets are coursing down our cheeks, Perkins. And do you know why? Maybe she's peeling onions. Perkins, Perkins, you disgust me. This little old lady is someone's mother. Well, what is it? If I give you $5,000, will you give Mr. Martin a month to pay the balance? Where are you going to get $5,000? I have it. Where'd you get this? My savings account. Hmm. All right. But remember, it's only for 30 days. Of course. Thank you. You're welcome. Perkins. I can't. Aren't you ashamed, Perkins? Aren't you ashamed of yourself at your age? 41 going on 42. <laughs> what would your mother think if she knew what you were doing? Uh, I've got to give you this. This is it, notice. Please don't tell my mother I've done it. <laughs> Give me, give me your anxious please. I gotta go home. Here. Ronnie. Get, get Mr. Perkins a towel. All right. Oh, there, there, there. Look me in the eye, Perkins. I can't. Aren't you ashamed, Perkins? Aren't you ashamed of yourself at your age? 41 going on 42. <laughs> Your mother thinks you see you what you were doing. Uh, I've got to give you this. This is this, mother. Please don't tell my mother I've done it. <laughs> give me, give me your anxious please. I've got to go home. <laughs> Here. Honey. <laughs> Mr. Perkins is tall. Little man, little man, now does the business. Well, hello, Mr. Perkins. I'm so glad Ralph, we finally sent for you. Sent for me? Yes, you thought we could have it. Where is Shirley? He's in the next room now, talking to the landlord's agent. Then he told you about that. Yes? Why not? Oh, I'm so glad he wasn't ashamed to tell the truth. You settled it, hadn't you? Oh, yes, yes. He told me all about Frank Wright. It's lucky Rodney had no money. That big Thomas would have worked some team on him for sure. And poor boy. He knows so little about business. Oh, Miss Grayson, uh, you've seen Rodney's blueprints, haven't you? Yes, I'll say a scream. Yes, they are a scream. They're a howl. I want to thank you. What for? This information you've just given me has saved me a lot of money. What? What? Well, Father, we're going to move. Mary, you know about our deal with Father? The deal is off. What? Why? Why? Because I'm not as big a fool as you took me for. I've just learned that you're broke. But, Mr. Martin, I didn't understand. Yes, and all this talk about Frank Wright's blueprints and larger offices. <laughs> Balderdash. Mr. Martin, there's a lady present. I think that I would be the 
enough to offer you $70,000. All right, man. That's all right, sir. Good day, sir. Good day. <laughs> so you're broke, huh? Well, if you're so broke, why don't you have your charming little assistant here invest in it? Invest what? Nothing. What does he mean? Nothing. Just a pack of perfect mush heads. Ah. Say that. I'm terribly sorry, Robin. I thought you sent for him to help you. That's all right, Mary. He'd probably have found out anyway. He's right, too. I'm just a fool. But you wait. You mean you're not going to quit? Quit? Say, we haven't started yet. You see, I thought business was a joke, but the joke seems to be me. Well, maybe I will. Mary, will you stick by me? You know I will. Well, then everything's okay. Yes, but what are you going to do? I don't know. Only thing, we're going to start at the bottom instead of finish there. You watch. I'll show him. That's right. You show him. Jesus, Father. What? Well, you kissed me. Telegram. It was paid for, so the man left it. Oh, what is it? I don't know. Look at this. What is it? Oh, Mary. Mary, look. What is it? What is it? Ship it one. Fifty thousand cakes. Make you soap. Spare and company. Oh, it isn't true. So you didn't send it as a joke. Where would I get thirty cents? It means we started. We've actually begun selling soap. Oh, boy, we'll waste the country. Why, we'll run father out of business. Just a minute. The order's no good. What do you mean, no good? Well, sure it is. Look. It's all right. Certainly. We can't fill it. Why not? We haven't any soap. Oh. Say, how did that happen? That was our idea, to get the orders first. Yeah. But this says ship it once. Oh, well, we'll say that. Well, what are we going to do? Let's see. I know. What? We must get some soap. Yes. Where can we get it? Let's go back. Yes, but they all belong to Mr. Moss or Mr. Adams. Adams is such an old grab, I'd be afraid to tackle him. Yeah, and father's up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He doesn't know anything about this order. Oh, that's right. Let's go before he finds out. Yeah, where's your telephone? Wait a minute. Close manufacturer. Oh, third skin. Skylight. Nike machine. Most stack. Slip cover. Smart. Wait, here it is. Here it is. Soap manufacturer. Tyrus Martin. Wisconsin, one, two, three, five. I've got one, two, Scott. One, two, three, two. Circle, one, six, three, three. Wisconsin, one, one, two, three, five, five please. Circle, one, six, three, three. Hello. 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 Where's the hook up? Yeah, listen. Yeah, we're going to be right now. Yeah, let's get him. 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 Say, Mary, Mary, there's something I wanted to ask you. What? What'd Father mean about getting you to invest money? I haven't the faintest idea. I haven't any money. See, that's funny. Well, before you're through, you'll have plenty. Well, I'll never get over this. What's that? Well, we're smelling like an old rose the rest of my life. Wait till the boys at the press club get a whiff of me. Whoopee. Back to my work. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, wait a minute. Hey, delivery man, for you. Sure. You're off. Uh, hello? Huh? Okay. I got you. Okay. All right. Well, that's that. That's what? Orders from Mr. Martin. No more soap. What? Why? I don't know. What? Just orders from Mr. Martin. I don't know. What are we going to do now? Why, we'll go to meet Father. Oh, you can't go at this hour. What? He's fast asleep. Well, we'll wake him up. I've got a faint idea. Your pappy is not going to care for a bedtime story. Say, let's be quiet. We can't wire from the spirit. It'll be a whole 
Now I get like a man. 